All right, moving to Mississippi State. Let's talk about Mike Leach and the Bulldogs real quick. Six and a half is their number. To go over, plus 120. To go under, minus 150. The juice, again, bananas. Yep. Like, it, it's insane to me. But is what it is. The uh, year two under Mike Leach is always, like, a drastic improvement on offense. At Texas Tech, they jumped up, like, no, nine points yeah. over a touchdown. In year two at Washington State, they went from 20 points a game to 31 points I was a game. I say 11 points, yeah. They jump up almost 100 yards per game. It's year two is always the best, and I think it's going to be even bigger this season because they didn't have last season. Isn't it weird that they're six and six based on the to- team total, but the ESPN like power rankings has them as like a top so, ten? They had them at at number eight, yes. And the guy that that runs that now they have a whole team of statisticians that Correct. that put that together. But they were they were back to being like just a a top twenty five team uh, when they re ran the numbers. But top twenty five is not a six and six football team. I mean, it might be in the SEC. Like, think about it. If you lose to and so on this year's there's schedule, there's zero chance a team with six losses is in yeah. the top twenty five. That's a re, that's an insane statement. FBI projects them to go eight and four. Yes, I think that's more likely their yeah. their record. I think this is an over easily. And you said you get plus odds at over. Yeah, plus one twenty. That's it's. What do the bookmakers know that we don't? I I don't know. I've got them going under. The but power analytical department of ESPN thought they could be a top ten team. I I see four guaranteed wins on the schedule, and even then, I don't know that they're guaranteed. Right, like I. I thought they, surely they can handle Kentucky at home. Surely they can handle Tennessee State. That's two. Then you've got uh, Louisiana Tech. That's three. And and I've got NC State or Memphis. They're going to win one of those, at least. And they could win both. So that's four. But then you know, and then there's Vanderbilt. That's uh, that's a win as well. So that puts you at what five? That's five. Five. So I got to get to seven. And. You know, your your games that would have been easier at home are on the road, like at Auburn, at Arkansas, uh, at Memphis, like at Ole Miss, even at home. That was going to be tough. It's, it's the Egg Bowl. It's going to be a coin flip. You're probably right. I've got them going under, but that's because I think it's much more likely that they improve to six wins. Because, I mean, they were four and seven last year, went three and seven in the regular season. I, I got them six and six this year. I I can't. There's too many toss-ups for me, and I think they'd have to win all the toss-ups to be able to get to seven. See, I don't need them to win all the toss-ups. I just need them to win one of the toss-ups because I think they're going to get to six wins pretty easily. Okay. I'm going under. That's fine. I'll go over. I'm going under. Defense, by the way, uh, fifth best in the SEC in 2020. Uh, another year in Zach Arnett's 335. I think I think they're going to be good this if year. If their defense is better, Gary, <laughs> then they're going to they, yeah, they're they're shock a lot of people. I think they'll shock they're a lot They're going to upset a bunch of these big teams – that you think they can't be. Yeah. I mean, you might be right. You might be right. Uh, the Ole Miss Rebels. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures. Or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe. And we'll see you soon.